Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News Today starts right now. Good morning, it's 7 o'clock. I'm Grant Herms. And I'm Priya Mann. Thanks for joining us for Local 4 News today. So we both ended up going out for walks yes. yesterday. The weather was great. If we want to do a repeat today, sort of later in the afternoon. Going to have to plan accordingly. Yeah. Could right? be a little dicey at spots, Andrew. That's right. So get those uh, outdoor activities done early. I mean, the beginning and middle of the day are looking good. It's not until you get to around 3, 4 o'clock and afterward that isolated showers and storms start to appear, including for today's baseball game, which starts just after 1 o'clock. Plan on an on-time start, but by the seventh inning stretch and afterward, showers and thunderstorms could erupt and become more numerous for the ride home. Now, it gets warmer today just like yesterday. Middle 70s by noontime, upper 70s to near 80 degrees by 4 p.m. Just be on guard for some of those heavy downpours, frequent lightning, even dangerous wind and hail. 61 mild degrees right now over at the airport with a wind out of the south at around 8 miles per hour, but it becomes windier later today. So here's my specific timeline for you in terms of those showers and storms. From now until 3 o'clock, we're just fine. Little League games, your gardening plans, uh, going to the baseball game, fine up until about 3 o'clock. Between 3 and 5, we'll see some isolated showers and storms becoming greater in number and greater in intensity between 5 and 10 o'clock tonight. With wind a possibility being the main threat of gusts up to 55 miles per hour or more, yes, there's a chance of an isolated tornado, but it is not a guarantee. It's just to prepare you for later today. More on this coming up. All right, thank you, Andrew. Well, this morning, Dearborn police are trying to piece together what happened after a deadly crash involving a motorcycle and SUV. It happened around 8 last night in front of Noah's Deli on Michigan Avenue near Greenfield. Megan Woods has more for us this morning. It's a very sad situation. Police say it happened around 8 o'clock last night, and you see they've had this stretch of Michigan Avenue blocked off for hours. We're told that they've been recreating the crime scene to figure out what happened and try and identify the person who was killed. Very nice day. And then this happens. It's very sad. Dearborn police and fire have had this stretch of Michigan Avenue blocked off for hours. You can see a motorcycle in pieces and a damaged white SUV just a few feet away. I heard tires squealing, squawking. So I ran and I looked and the cops were there because I was on the phone with 911 and it was taking them a minute to answer the phone. So and then I've seen all that. Police say the motorcyclist was going west on Michigan Avenue when the SUV was heading east and turned in front of it. The motorcyclist died from their injuries. The driver was taken to the hospital out of precaution. Witnesses say the impact of the crash threw the motorcyclist onto the roof of this business, Noah's Deli. It's a terrifying situation for other local motorcyclists. I always stay in the neighborhood. I didn't even go towards the freeway. I don't, don't even try to drive too fast. And, you know, seeing this right now just happening, you know, him, you know, that car just turning, you know, a lot of people don't even pay attention to motorcycles, you know. So, it's, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, stopping riding at all. You know, just that's it. While here on scene, we did see another car accident between two cars. It's in the area right where police were blocking off the street. And investigators say as of right now, it doesn't seem alcohol was a factor in this crash. But again, it's still under investigation. In Dearborn, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Michigan Republicans make their choices for candidates in statewide races. About 2,000 delegates voted Saturday afternoon in Grand Rapids for Matt DiPerno for Attorney General and Christina Caramo for Secretary of State. Both Caramo and DiPerno are the preferred candidates of former President Donald Trump. They rose to political prominence supporting unproven claims of fraud in the November 2020 presidential election. And the Michigan Democratic Party released a statement about the GOP's candidates, and it reads in part, Christina Caramo is a fear-spreading, inexperienced extremist who brands Republicans who disagree with her as traitors and Democrats as much worse. The Michigan GOP should be ashamed of the candidates they've endorsed for the November election. Matt DiPerno is one of Trump's lackeys, clearly in the back pocket of the former president and willing to break the law on a whim. Right side, there it is! History throws it! The third Tiger to ever do it! Well, it was a day for the record books at Comerica Park. Detroit Tiger star Miguel Cabrera is now part of an elite company by becoming the 33rd major leaguer to reach 3,000 hits. And our Jamie Evans has the highlights for this historic game. 
Good morning. We waited a few days for this moment and it did not disappoint yesterday. An historic day at Comerica Park in front of 37,566 fans, the largest non opening day crowd since 2017. Miguel Caprera hit number 3000. It happened in the first inning. Third pitch he faced. He lines it into right field. The place was already on its feet. This is the loudest I've ever heard it in there. The Tigers dugout emptied onto the field, as did the bullpen. Miggy's family was near home plate. It was really special. Cabrera joins elite company, the only players to have 3,000 hits, 500 home runs, and a 300 average. Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, and now Cabrera. This was like really special for me because I want to do it here in front of my, my fan, in front of my hometown here in Detroit. So I'm happy. Uh, I hear it here, happy people from Detroit see you. Um, hopefully can hit more hits here. So now Cabrera didn't get just one hit. He got two in that first game of the doubleheader, meaning he passed Hall of Famer Roberto Clemente for 32nd on the MLB all time hit list. Tigers hammered the Rockies in game one 13 to nothing. In game two of the doubleheader, they fell three to two. Cabrera finished the day three for eight, three singles, two RBI. 3,002 hits. Tigers go for the series win this afternoon. That's it for sports. Have a great day. And Cabrera's historic feat drew Tigers fans from across the state, even across the border, with fans from Windsor attending yesterday's game. Many fans who went to witness history on Friday night rushed to the ticket office to exchange their rainout tickets for yesterday's game. Fans say this is a moment they will never forget. I will never forget it, ever. It's the greatest thing. I mean, there's only, what, seven other people, 500 home runs, 3,000 hits. We were crossing our fingers last night hoping there would be a rain out, and there was, so we could be here for the game because we had tickets for this for three or four weeks. Wow. Cabrera is also the first Venezuelan player to reach 3,000 career hits. And while Cabrera made history yesterday afternoon, that was just the start of the party in downtown Detroit. That's right. The city was treating Saturday like the perfect summer day and summer night. While some were there for the Tigers game, others lined up around the block to get into the Olivia Rodrigo concert at the Masonic Temple. Plus, a lot of families were just enjoying the beautiful weather and some karaoke near the spirit <laughs> of Detroit. The vibes is just crazy down here, man. So the music is, is, is everything with the vibe. So once we get the music going, we see how the people react to the music. And then from that, we, we base our music off the people's reactions. So that's pretty much how we go about our vibes around here. You were out there I vibing. Was, I was. I passed the karaoke yesterday by the spirit. <laughs> it was it was great. You know, I was looking at a spray chart for, for Mickey's hits earlier today. He hit his sweet spot, that right field spot for uh -huh. his singles. That's exactly where he hits all of his, his hits just like that. His home runs go to left field, but that was his sweet spot. Oh, perfect. And mm -hmm. I love that his family was there to ah, witness so it. So great. It was just a perfect day all around, yeah. Andrew. You certainly delivered, my friend. That's <laughs> right. And so far, so good for today. Now, today it gets much warmer, but the hitch is we've got a chance of showers and storms, including for your baseball game. The start of it is just fine with temps in the 60s for tailgaters, 75 degrees for the first pitch. Highs near 80, but showers and storms by the end of the game. We'll talk about how strong those storms will be and your full weather forecast coming up.